The Norwegian oil and gas industry has been at the forefront of subsea production and processing for decades. In order to maintain the momentum of progress and meet new challenges, Subpro was established in 2015. The reason for starting the centre was that industry is really strong in Norway in subsea, but the academic basis was not at a sufficient high level. So to make it possible for industry to move on, we decided to start Subpro. Subpro covers a wide range of topics within four main areas. Field architecture, safety and reliability, separation and system control, and is planned to operate for eight years. Within field architecture, Subpro develops new concepts and tools to optimize subsea developments. In my project, I'm exploring uh, flexible field development with decentralized processing systems to improve the overall production field. One concept Subpro is currently developing is a compact separator for bulk separation of oil and water, which is especially suited for separation at large water depths. By understanding the fundamentals of separation, one will be able to improve the design of separation equipment. The knowledge of how droplets form and break is a key factor. Small droplets make separation difficult. On the one hand, Subpro is investigating how turbulence causes oil droplets to break into smaller droplets. At the same time, the center is studying how oil droplets merge or coalesce into larger droplets that are easier to separate. Subsea technology is very important to Equinor. We produce uh, from uh, more than 500 wells. For future projects and also to operate the ones we have, we need new technology within subsea field and we think Subpro can contribute to this. Safety, reliability and availability are all vital conditions for successful subsea operations. The Subpro's contributions in RAMS is to develop new methods uh, for demonstrating both the reliability and safety of these new technologies, as well as uh, the selection of the most cost-efficient uh, program for inspection and maintenance using monitoring data. Subpro also performs research on the use of membranes to remove water from produced gas without being treated at a platform. Experimental work is used to verify simulation models. Autonomous operation and digitalization are also part of the project. Subpro develops advanced control and monitoring solutions for smart, safe and optimal operation of subsea systems. This is mostly theoretical work using models and digital twins. A new lab rig is used to test the algorithms in practice. Further the development of subsea systems and solutions is important for Lundin. And to participate in the Subpro project, we get access to the newest results from research and technology development within this segment. Subsea production and processing will remain important for years to come, and Subpro will continue to develop new, value-creating solutions for the subsea industry.